One one of the things to understand is is about the seasonality of of sheep, right? Now all sheep are seasonal breeders. It doesn't matter what breed they are. It's just that some will join at better times of the year than others, and some are less or more seasonal than others. So Merino is a less seasonal but still a short day breeder, whereas British bred sheep and British breeds of sheep very seasonal, so they have a very tight window of estrus expression. Now, where the confusion about seasonality comes into, especially with people with less seasonal breeds, is that they you you can get sheep to breed all year round. What happens is there's a productive dip. So when you think about the out of season period, let's say that's August, September, October, November, December is a more difficult period to breed in. It's not that sheep won't conceive during that period. It's just less of them conceive and less of them will conceive with multiples. When you look at, you know, the reality of this work, this is a really common graph, whether it's made by SIVA or it's by um, sheep genetics or whoever, it, it, it's roughly the same. Okay, so sheep start to increase their ability to cycle and ovulate on the longest day and they decrease, start to decrease on their shortest day. So that means that in that September, October, November and into December and January, that is the most difficult period of time to join. So if you look at that graph and you look at that red line, which is Merino's, it indicates that in October and November, about 30% of ewes are ovulating without a ram being present. So that increases when a ram's present is detected, but the reality is without rams being available, if you look at border lesters, is zero ewes are ovulating. There is no expression of estrus. So that's a really critical thing to understand. Pole dorsets are first cross. They're kind of in between, okay, because they have an element of, in first cross, they've got an element of border lesser, they've got an element of merino, so they sit in between. Pole dorsets act in between because they're not as seasonal, but they still are seasonal. Your composite sheep sit in there. Some of your less seasonal sheep sit in between merinos and um, border lesser's true. Texels, uh, hampshires, that type of thing, they're truly British breeds. They sit in that very in-depth and estrus period, okay? Dorpers have a very similar ovulation pattern as merinos. So merinos ovulate for about 143 days of the year without ram stimulation, and best data I can find in dorpers is there about 147 days of ovulation, okay? Mm -hmm. So then there's not really much difference. So they mm -hmm. are... They are the same. The other thing that I hear often is, oh, no, my sheep are polyestrous, so therefore they're not seasonal. Polyestrous means that they can have more than one ovulation. So most sheep are polyestrous. It just means that they can have more than one. When we look at ovulation rates and lambing percentages, so ovulation rates are obviously lower in spring and early summer. So what you see when you start to come away from peak season, March, April, May, is the first thing to drop is twinning rates. The next thing to drop is conception rates. So when you use melatonin, regulin, to influence it, then what you see is a reduction in dry use and an increase in twinning use because you change the ability to cycle and you increase the strength of ovulation. So if melatonin triggers the hormonal sequence and they are short-day breeders, what happens is the longer the night, the greater the amount of melatonin is in the sleep system. Um, melatonin is only produced at night, so the longer the night, the shorter the day, ergo more melatonin. So when the melatonin level increases and then there's an interaction between the eye the pituitary gland in the brain triggering the reproductive axis of sheep, that sets in place the sequence of reproduction. So while melatonin is not in essence a fertility hormone, 
It is, however, the hormone that triggers the natural sequence of reproductive events. So it's very important in that sense. So there's an interaction between the eye and its ability to interpret between light and dark, an interaction uh, to the pineal gland and then through the axis of hormone production. So it triggers that natural sequence of fertility response. Now, critical that you understand is once the axis of reproduction is switched on, sheep can't turn it off, okay? Sheep can't turn it off. We can turn it off. We can turn it off through bad management. We can turn it off through stress. We can turn it off through hormonal interaction. But the sheep itself cannot turn it off. Once it's on, it's on. So if we think back and we want to influence that the level of melatonin, because melatonin is the hormone that triggers the natural sequence of reproduction in sheep, what we do is when we implant regulin, we increase the amount of available melatonin in the system as if it was autumn. And therefore, the animal responds as in an autumn-like manner and increases its ability to conceive. So if you have a look at the bottom red square dotted line, that is, a, that is a daytime level of melatonin. So during the day, it, there's zero, and then of a night time, it increases, and as dawn comes, it drops off to zero. So that is a normal melatonin level um, during spring and early summer. The green line above it with the green dots, that is what happens when you implant regulin into sheep. The level of melatonin increases, as if it was autumn, but you still get a peak of a night time and then it dips off during the day, okay? So that's why you get a trigger. So when you hear those things about, oh, I never see my sheep join, they only join at night, they don't like the heat, et cetera, et cetera, that's actually not quite true is because as the level of melatonin comes up, it triggers, the response it triggers in sheep is an increase in testosterone production, so its libido goes up, and that's why they join more at night um, in out-of-season periods. So what you see when you implant regulin into ewes and rams, you see an increased daytime activity, and that's very visible from observation by the farmer. So if melatonin is a messenger of the breeding season and we know that sheep breeds vary in their anestrous and peak breeding periods, as demonstrated in this graph, so you can see that top line what we what we see there is that purple coloured line is you're seeing border lesters texel uh, in this area here. They have a very limited uh, natural breeding period and that and that natural breeding period they start to rise in March uh, and they're solid all the way through June, July and start to taper in you know, right off in August. And when we use regulin, we can influence them into the sort of second week of January because they're such seasonal sheep. With First Cross and Pole Dorset, they have a peak joining period, very similar start to British breeds, but they have a longer tail. They go longer into August. And you can see that with Regulin, we can influence them all right back into the start of October. Preferably the second weeks of October, we're starting to see your best in, uh, result. So that's in your first cross, that's in composites, pole dorset type sheep. And then merino dorpers, they have a longer natural joining period. Um, and then what we see is we can really influence them um, the rest of the year. I know the graph's not quite represented correctly, but they have all sheep are particularly difficult to join in August. Okay, so just be aware of that. It's very, very deep and anestrous, all breeds of sheep. So <clears throat> I put these graphs up. These are slightly different, and this is where influence that, that regulars start to influence. So if you see here, if we were to implant in mid-October, 40 days later, then we would have an end of November, early December peak. Okay, that's what Reglan does for us. So if we were implanting in November, you see 
I'll just go back a slide. You see how big the window of um, influence is here as we get closer and closer to March. So we're now in planning in November. We reduce the window of opportunity. If we were to implant in December, we have a narrow window, which is mid January and early February. So this would be for British breeds. And then this is where uh, it's pointless after January to try and use Reglan. My argument is that if you are joining after the 26th of January, um, you need to be talking directly with uh, some of the technical staff um, with Siva and Reglan so it makes sure that your sheep breed matches up because if we come back and we look at it again, you can see that that window closes as we get closer and closer to March to the point where it becomes uneconomical to use Reglan. So that those really key points uh, to really clearly understand is that all sheep, all sheep are short-day breeders, no matter the breed. They are short-day breeders. Some breeds of sheep are more seasonal than others, and those less seasonal sheep would have been originally uh, evolved closer to the equator, but those more northern hemisphere-based sheep, they are more seasonal, and so therefore they're more impacted by the period of time. And rams are certainly affected by seasonality. So we see that in rams. We see the quality of semen reduce. We see their libido reduce. Uh, we see their overall interest reduces. And that's purely about um, that anestrous behaviour. Ewe lambs are more affected by seasonality than mature ewes. I'll cover ewe lambs in quite a, a bit, but it's really important to understand in this first section that ewe lambs are much more affected than mature ewes. They uh, take longer to achieve estrus. They are in estrus for a shorter period of time. They're more difficult to get out of an estrus. And once animals' reproductive axis, axis is activated, they cannot switch it off, which basically means that when Reglan goes in, it starts to work straight away. You can't decide that it doesn't work if it's in and the level of melatonin goes up the reproductive access is activated and sheep become receptive to reproduction. Cannot turn that off. The sheep can't turn that off, okay? Okay.